These juicy gems are grown under the sun picked at their peak and will get ready in a bit to delight your taste buds with its unforgettable flavor just stick around and we will run you through the mesmerizing process of harvesting millions of these delicious tomatoes or delicate little miracles of nature which seem to get ruined if we touch them firmly but I wonder how huge harvesting scoops up those perfectly ripe tomatoes without ruining a single piece and the icing on the cake is these machines eat up the entire crop of tomatoes containing leaves twigs. Tomatoes and all but you must be wondering how on earth it is releasing only the red juicy tomatoes out of that stuff not even the green tomatoes can be seen in the containers so let me show you a little science working in here as they roll along they gobble up whole plants while inside there's a cool sorting system that uses high pressured air to blow away the leaves and twigs from a separate chamber back in the fields so first the leaves are thrown back from where they belong and now comes the ripened and unripped tomatoes here's the visual proof of what I just said how an air blower separates the two incomparable tomato types once the containers filled with ripe tomatoes reach the factories a little scoop of the millions of them are little tested and sorted to run their special unloading system yes a lot of water is poured through the huge pipe straight into the containers for easy and bruise free tomatoes transferring its because water gently moves the tomatoes towards the dedicated areas without damaging them this way the tomatoes stay fresh and intact as they make their way through the factory plus it helps rinse off any loose dirt right from the start here they are kept for less than an hour to cool them a little bit before running them through any process next up the tomatoes get collected again to transfer them directly inside the units through a safe and really interesting system this system is even more active than you being on Instagram because if any green tomatoes is trying to sneak through it it immediately detects collects and transfers it onto another running belt probably back to the fields through their unique underground system the tomatoes are transported for further and real processing but first they get a thorough wash it gets rid of any leftover dirt pesticides or residues that might still be hanging around round for these manual detectors apologies i mean these beautiful ladies fixated their eyes on every passing tomato so no unwanted stuff or even rotten tomatoes can pass through after the final wash tomatoes get exposed to steaming right after washing you may ask why steaming because it's the ultimate hack for loosening up those stubborn tomato skins this would make peeling them super easy without messing up the juicy Insides plus the steam kills any lingering bacteria so the tomatoes are totally clean and safe for processing after steaming the tomatoes are way easier to handle their skins just slide off which is crucial for making that smooth delicious tomato paste we all love these machines have a super important job getting rid of the unwanted tomato skins because the skin can be tough and doesn't blend well into sauces and pastes this step ensures the quality and texture are on point using only the best tomatoes for your favorite sauces and recipes peeled and clean tomatoes are passed. Through these workers carefully check peeled tomatoes to make sure they're perfect before they're packed and processed both they look closely to see if there's any skin left on the tomatoes after they've been peeled top notch tomatoes are going to make it into these containers for quick and safe packaging as they act as strong shields against light and air which may quickly ruin tomato quality if exposed directly after tomatoes are peeled and packed the rest are directed to large slicing and chopping machines these machines quickly chop them into small juicy chunks before they are processed into tomato paste chopping them first simplifies the process of transforming them into smooth tomato paste later on it's about breaking down a complex task into manageable steps this ensures a consistent texture for sauces and toppings like pasta and pizza now a bunch of modern detectors make sure only the best tomato chunks pass the test the tomatoes are all set for grinding so they head straight for beastie commercial grinders to create a thick tomato paste this process involves both grinding and sterilizing which ensures the paste is safe flavorful it takes a bit of time to get the perfect texture but it's worth it for that rich tomato taste in several dishes before it hits the shelves experts grab a batch of the tomato paste they've whipped up to run it through some serious tests they make some cuisines with it to see how it holds up in action once it gets their stamp of approval it's good to go for packaging nowadays you know the packaging of all kinds is easily handled with the help of robotic systems so does the tomato paste packaging glass jars will be used here because they are durable and non-reactive to the acidic nature of tomato paste they make sure every jar keeps the tomato paste fresh and tasty it's a modern way to make sure your tomato paste is ready to make your meals delicious and easy bounty bars are irresistible to coconut lovers it's each bite is a delightful combination of sweet chewy coconut coated in smooth and rich milk chocolate i don't know about you whether you enjoy them as a snack or dessert but bounty bars never fail to satisfy cravings with their rich blend of coconut goodness and mouth-watering chocolate coating 
Pickled cucumber or pickles they all are the different names for one same cuisine that you can never resist the seeding process for pickles has begun each seed is placed at just the right depth in the soil by these saw machines to achieve healthy growth once planted the seeds are attended regularly so they sprout in beautiful young plants farmers usually keep the bees near their crops because they are excellent pollinators and their activity of extracting nectar helps in crop yield efficiency and higher quality produce over time the saplings are grown up plants now an army of farmers arrived at the scene to collect what they sowed i mean those precious little cucumbers that are full grown now they have brought this ingenious system for their valuable workers to harvest the cucumbers with efficiency and speed up the process by staying away from the direct sun heat well you may ask why don't they use machinery harvesting too here you get to see that automated process you were thinking about they have made this amazingly systematic unit to collect convey and store the cucumbers effectively they are pretty good at what they are doing and you can see it's just a one-man job this way large companies save a lot of labor expense by one time investing in these agriculture heroes you will be surprised to hear what i am about to tell you so far china is proven to be the largest producing country for cucumbers and do you know the numbers they produce around 77 million tons of cucumbers every year well with that marvelous engineering i can believe it to be possible after the cucumbers have been harvested the next step is to wash and prepare them for pickling so we have arrived inside a temporary facility to clean the cucumbers here comes the critical step to make sure that the cucumbers are clean and free from any dirt or pesticide residue before they undergo the pickling process the workers manually check that only cucumbers make their way towards you now they're ready to be taken towards the major unit where finally pickles will be prepared let them unload the loads of cucumber or maybe do a little quality check before proceeding anything further check out these several brining Units which is listed as the major step for pickling the cucumbers brining is the process where they fill up the cucumbers with a flavorful solution consisting of the secret ingredients that gives the pickles their distinctive and tangy deliciousness the cucumbers rest in brine for one to four weeks depending on every company's preference but once the time is up they use those heavy lifting systems to handle that much pile of pickles which are super delicate now you have tasted both sliced and whole cucumber pickles right first we will take a tour through. The sliced ones this load of sliced pickles is driving me crazier which is by the way all done mechanically turning from ordinary cucumbers into flavorful pickles that are ready to be enjoyed by pickle lovers everywhere while these jars are being filled with the sliced pickles and the special liquid to keep them fresh as long as you want why not subscribe to my channel so I can enjoy your company every time I upload new content see they are all ready to dispatch you may comment down below if you ever tasted their pickles or enjoyed watching their entire procedure now it's time to take you to another company's pickling experience which is different we all know cleaning or washing is necessary to keep them safe and healthy for all the consumers so let me tell you these germans or you can say pickles are not just delicious to eat but they have many other health benefits too loaded with gut friendly probiotics and hydrating goodness they're a crunchy delight that keeps your tummy happy and your body refreshed some studies suggest that the compounds found in cucumbers may help regulate blood sugar levels a quick stop because here is my favorite spice that is going to be added to pickles yep none other than dill while they get the bottles ready with several other spices i really want to tell you that the fiber content in cucumber pickles particularly those made with the skin on can help in digestion by promoting regularity and preventing constipation every company makes pickles in their style and here we are watching a whole other experience where the pickles will be prepared and ready within your containers these pickling cucumbers are basically shorter for around three to six in and blockier than the slicing ones and have bumpy skin but i know this is going to be a wonderful experience for those who love to eat these whole pickled cucumbers strawberries just hit differently and end up vicking in almost every fire dish or cuisine from strawberry shortcakes to fancy tarts and creamy cheesecake straw strawberries level up any treat whether you munch on them fresh or turn them into yummy jams and sauces these ruby red berries always know how to make your taste buds happy everyone knows about the countless perks of strawberries right there Natural sweetness means you don't need to add a ton of sugar making them a healthier choice for anyone with a sweet tooth but when it comes to harvesting the delicate strawberries we barely depend on any machinery isn't it true but this unique fruit picking robot has proved that wrong as it can navigate its way only towards the ripe strawberries I was wondering if you might be curious about the secret behind those fresh flawless strawberries bud you're in the perfect spot strawberries don't ripen all at once which is why humans are chosen to pick the ripe ones while leaving them. 
Rest to mature in their dedicated time period ever wonder why doctors are always hyping fresh fruit it's a no-brainer it keeps you hydrated and gives you natural sugars for energy minus the sneaky added sugars you get from processed stuff as you have witnessed the ruby red strawberries harvesting process it's time to leave for the real magic that happens inside the modern factories where you'll see every amazing step from cleaning strawberries to packaging and more is expected step one is to give these strawberries a good wash since they came straight from the farm this gets rid of all the dirt and stuff which you clearly don't want you bet they're going to turn these farm fresh strawberries into 4 super tasty treats so stick around let us show you this unique robotic automation for removing the hulls from the fresh fruits can you spot that robotic arm responsible to cut and separate the whole form the strawberry want to watch more of the automated units these folks are only tasked with placing each strawberry in a separate chamber ensuring that they fit well in the spot and any spoiled ones are identified and removed promptly meanwhile these machines efficiently trim off the unwanted parts of the strawberries the thing is why are these factories putting in so much effort to remove this green part this convenience is a game share for those who enjoy their strawberry treats all the time so they only need to pour out the can and enjoy the real farm fresh taste of fruits these days with robotic arms capable of handling even the simplest tasks like thoroughly washing strawberries who worries about doing it by hand here the strawberries are getting their second bath to remove any possible impurities so they are all set to destined in the cans but for some delicate tasks like sorting humans are preferred because well they've got the eyes to detect which fruit is unfit to reach customers check out how these folks are equally filling the cans with strawberries so if you feel like your can has fewer than the others it's probably just your miscalculation dipping them in a special liquid probably fruit juice concentrate preserves their freshness but it can slightly alter the taste and texture of strawberries that's why some people still prefer the texture of frozen strawberries for certain uses such as smoothies and you're in great luck today because we've managed to get inside the frozen fruits factory too yes we are definitely going to show you the process of freezing the bulk strawberries in a bit even if your heart craves strawberries off season no worries these top-notch factories ensure customer satisfaction by carefully freezing them coping with all the protocols handling massive quantities of strawberries with the brand new freezing technology shows their immense ability to handle workloads seamlessly and speaking of bulk strawberries it's important to know where these millions of strawberries are coming from so far California produces about 80% of the strawberries in the United States which makes it a capital in exporting the premium quality strawberries for several purposes and frozen strawberries are one of them around 40% of the frozen strawberries are kept aside to prepare the bunch of strawberry jam bottles how many people still enjoy strawberry jam at breakfast these days honestly speaking it's irresistible once you set your eyes on. It's so let's take a peek behind the scenes where they're adding granulated sugar and other ingredients once in a while to make perfectly blended jam also they prefer their traditional methods of manually preparing the jam to give it the desired texture and give us a pure lovely vibe while these robotic machines quietly do their job let's discuss their sanitary features these renowned factories maintain hygiene standards by minimizing human contact with the product thereby reducing the risk of contamination so next time you enjoy a product straight from the factory don't forget to give them their due credit because they've earned it raise your hands in the comments box if you love chocolate coated strawberries isn't it a whole another vibe i bet you will love to have these hassle free chocolate coated strawberries anytime anywhere